So there's been a number of uh, studies published over the last couple of years which have looked at the association between uh, participation in, in resistance training uh, and uh, the risk of having a number of different diseases or risk factors for uh, you know, the development of uh, chronic diseases like cardiovascular disease, uh, type 2 diabetes uh, and the other kind of host of uh, conditions that are associated with you know, the metabolic syndrome. Um, and, and those studies are really indicating to us that participation uh, in resistance training is associated with a lower risk of those diseases. Um, and we also know from a number of studies that um, it's an effective um, means of intervening once someone has developed those diseases as well. Um, so it's very effective in improving things like blood glucose regulation in uh, type 2 diabetics and in pre-diabetic uh, populations as well. Um, it's effective in the rehabilitation uh, of people post uh, uh, heart attack uh, in those who have got cardiovascular disease, coronary heart disease. Um, and so yeah, so there's a, there's a, a, a host of uh, evidence now that supports the link between uh, resistance training and improved health and reduced risk of these chronic diseases. So actually the training can reverse the development of diabetes? It seems, it seems as though, though it can certainly uh, help reverse some of the symptoms and, and improve someone's condition, improve the quality of life of those who have already developed the, the disease. Um, but that also preemptively taking part in this reduces your risk of developing it anyway. Of course, there's always factors that are uncontrollable, but it certainly um, doesn't hurt to be engaging in this kind of activity.